definitely feel the sugar rush. Wow, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my video. Today I'm gonna to be doing an ultimate strawberry flavored snack taste test. I have a ton of snacks from all over the world. So here are all of the snacks that I'm gonna be trying out today. I am most excited about this guy over here. This is the Bench Strawberry. This is actually a cookie that comes with chocolate, but this time for spring, they came out with a strawberry flavored version. And guys, I'm wearing pink just to match the strawberry theme. This is what it looks like. Let's try this out. Mmm. What a great start. That is amazing. I knew, like, honestly, I knew that Binge would not disappoint because I love the Binge chocolate crackers, but this one just hits different. Like, it's so creamy. Yeah, I think the strawberry really ties in well with the biscuit. This does not taste too artificial. I mean, it's strawberry cookie. I feel like all of them are gonna taste a little bit artificial to a certain degree. Let's rate this out of five. So I give Bench a 4.5 out of 5. Next, I'm going to try out this Pepero. This one um, is actually strawberry coating with um, chocolate like cracker. It just comes with one pack. What it looks like. I don't know like what the point of... Is this chocolate? I don't know. They don't really taste it. But it tastes very similar to Bench, but I prefer Bench over this. So I would rate this like a 3.5 to 4. I'm still deciding. Maybe a 3.5 because I don't love it, but I also don't dislike it. It was kind of underwhelming for me. Okay, so next we're going to be trying Sand Aid. This one is strawberry latte flavor. Like, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. And it just looks like a sandwich cracker. I like it. I really, really like it. I would rate this like a four out of five. Strawberry taste is more subtle than the bench just because there's probably like two cracker and there's strawberry in between them. So if you prefer a weaker strawberry taste, I think the Sandaid is a better choice than the bench. Currently, it's still bench, Sandaid, and then Pepero. So this one is Oyasu, and this is the strawberry cheesecake flavored. So this one is coated in chocolate. It's like a chocolate bread cake kind of thing this is what the inside looks like i quite like this the strawberry is very subtle i don't really love the texture of the strawberry mousse like this is such a strange thing to say but it just feels a little slimy i don't know but i don't mind the taste one thing with Oyasu is I just don't love the flavor of the chocolate coating around the sponge cake. I would rate this a 3.5 out of 5. Let's move on to the next okay. snack. So next, I'm going to try out this. I'm so, so, so excited about this one. It's Nagi Zongi. I personally love Choco Zongi, which is the chocolate version. So I'm really excited about this one. I don't seem to be able to open this. I always have issues opening snacks. Okay, we got this. Smells very strongly of strawberry and cheese. Mmm, I really like this. The strawberry is creamy, but it's, a, it's slightly like a sour creamy taste. And I think it meshes really well with the biscuit. I think this is what the Pepero snack wanted to be, but couldn't because the stick here tasted slightly stale. I think that's kind of the reason why I was underwhelmed. So I would recommend this one over the Pepero for sure. I would rate this a four out of five. Um, it was pretty good. Let's move on to the next snack. Super excited about this one. This is a spring edition of Choco Pie. You guys have probably heard of this before because it's such a famous snack. Even the packaging is amazing. I love this combination of pink and blue. This is what it looks like. So usually it's like brown because it's just chocolate. But I think this is strawberry flavored white chocolate. That's what I'm guessing. Let's take a bite. Mmm. 
Mm, I really like this. So let me just show you the inside. There's definitely marshmallow inside and I think a strawberry jam paste. Time to rate it. I think I'm gonna rate it four out of five. I definitely preferred the choco pie over the Oyasu. I forgot what I rated this guy. Um, I'm having memory issues. But if this is a four, I would put this a 3.5. I'm sure I rated this a 3.5. If not, I change it. I bump you down to a 3.5. Next, we have Mongshe. This is also a classic Korean sponge cake snack. Like the Oyasu, it has a little chocolate coating. This is what the inside looks like. So the sponge is pink for the strawberry effect, and it comes with a, a strawberry cream, maybe. Um, I'm still trying to decide which one I like better, the Oyasu or Mongshe. I think I do prefer the Mongshe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump Oyasu down to a 3 and put Mongshe as 3.5 because Mongshe isn't terrible, but I wouldn't really like repurchase either. But Oyasu has this strange cheese aftertaste that I actually don't really love. I think this is the last of the Korean snacks and this is Kastadu. As the name suggests, the original has custard filling in it, but this time they added a strawberry custard filling. So let's try it out. This is what the inside looks like. So within the strawberry cream, there is like jam filling, but it's so sweet. The bread is sweet and then the cream isn't that great. Like the cream doesn't really taste that strawberry like. And then there's just a tiny bit of jam which isn't that great because it's so sweet. I would rate it like 2.5 to a 3. Let's give it a 2.5. I think that was it for all of my Korean strawberry snacks. Move on to some Japanese snacks. I'm gonna try out this one first because it is a Japanese strawberry jelly. It's a Kororo fruit juice gummy. Hmm. Wow, incredibly sweet but the texture is so different from normal gummies that I've ever tried. There's no like liquid inside, but it feels like it's bursting in your mouth. It's so interesting, it's so novel. I rate this a four out of five. So next I'm gonna try this. You guys might've seen this before. Oh, the little like pine cone. Mm. I think the strawberry and the chocolate meshes really well together. Biscuit here is quite dense, which I really like. So I'll give it a four out of five because I don't yeah. love it. Okay, the angle keeps changing. I'm so, so sorry. I'm going to try and see if I can edit it. Next, I'm going to be trying out this cleat strawberry coated strawberry and white chocolate bag. I think this one is a freeze dried strawberry that is coated with white chocolate and strawberry white chocolate. Oh, they're quite big. Mmm, this one was amazing. I would rate this a 4.5 out of 5 because I love white chocolate. This is context, but it's so creamy and doesn't taste artificial. And then the freeze-dried strawberries just add a bit of like sweetness, sweet sour kind of taste, like tangy kind of taste, and just meshes really well together. This is chocolate Elise. Bourbon Elise strawberry chocolate wafers. Oh, these are like individually packaged, which is very convenient. This is what it looks like. It's filled with creamy strawberry filling. And I think the outside is, again, strawberry white chocolate. It does taste a bit artificial. It's very, very strawberry because it's like the outer layer is strawberry too. With the wafer, it's very thin. And inside, it's like strawberry cream. I can taste the artificial flavor a little bit more. I would rate this a 3.5 out of 5 because I do like it still, but I don't think it's as good as the other snacks I just tried. This is the next snack I'll be trying out. There's like three types of strawberry chocolate in here. I feel like this is one kind. And there's this one, this one. So let's try this one. It's filled with like strawberry jelly. I don't really like it. TBH, I don't really like filled chocolate. So I don't know why I bought this. This one is like a two out of five. Next one. This one is like filled with like white chocolate. 
a strawberry white chocolate or something like that. I really like it. I would rate it like a 3.5 out of 5. Let's try the last one. This one is white chocolate with freeze-dried strawberries. Kind of tastes the same as the other one, but with a bit more texture. 3.5 out of 5. It's just very average. <laughs> go to freaking Europe. We're gonna be trying out these M&S jam sandwich creams. So they come with a little jam on top and they have like this cream between the two biscuits. The strawberry taste here isn't that strong. The focus of it is the actual sandwich creams, which I really, really did enjoy. So I think I would rate this a four out of five. Next british snack is actually this candy this is the diablo sugar-free strawberry cream sweet so this is sugar-free which is why i love this brand and this candy that i love strawberry and cream sweets and i wanted to find a healthier alternative just to speed this up i'm gonna chew it guys it is so good it tastes exactly like strawberry and cream and i know this brand diablo makes really healthy like sugar-free candy so if you have like any issues with sugar um this would be really really great so i would rate this a 4.5 out of 5. So we're gonna go into france and try out two french biscuits the first one is mini bn a little smiley face. I feel like they're gonna taste really similar to the Marks and Spencer ones because they're the same type. This is what they look like. I'm not sure if you guys can see in between the cracker, but it's all pink. So it's a little bit different from the one I just tried. The jam is very sticky. I don't know if I like it. It's getting stuck in my mouth. The strawberry does taste very artificial. It's okay. I think I'd rate this a 3 out of 5. It's like, would I go out of my way to the kitchen to get it? No. I have this. This is a blue. And these are like strawberry wafer, I think. I'm just gonna break some. Ew. It tastes so sweet and artificial. No, this is not it. And the crepe biscuit part tastes like cardboard. One out of five. Not worth the effort of opening this and not definitely not worth the calories. This is now the last snack of it all. We're now back to home base. We're back in Hong Kong. And I think Hong Kong is known for this brand. This is the Garden Wafers. This is actually my mom's favorite. This is what it looks like. Okay. So freaking good. Now I understand why my mom likes this so much. She buys like a whole box of these and she finishes them in like a week or maybe two. I'll give her more credit. I would rate this a four out of five because honestly, it's not anything mind blowing. It's just strawberry wafer, but I quite enjoyed it. And I love the layering of the wafer cream, wafer cream. It's just so delicate and so good. She actually saved this for me. I was like, mom, I'm, I'm filming a strawberry taste test video. So I need some strawberry snacks. And she's like, yeah, you can use this. Okay, guys, this is it for my strawberry taste test. Thank you so much for watching this really long video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it helps you out when you guys are buying snacks. I had so much fun filming this because I love food. This was a great excuse for me to buy a ton of snacks. I think definitely my favorite were the Finch, the sandwich crackers, like the freeze dry strawberry chocolate. I think I would choose the garden um, strawberry wafers. I think those were my favorite. Comment down below if there's any other taste tests you would like me to try out. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.